Hey guys, today we're going to learn to make some treasures with unwanted trash. My sister really wanted an eyeglass holder because she says she always leaves her glasses on the desk and you know what happens, we push them, we scratch them, uh, we drop them on the floor and so to keep our glasses safe she requested uh, this tutorial so we're actually she requested the treasure not the actual tutorial but I'm gonna show you how I make this so all the list of uh, supplies will be in the info box below so to get started we need our little trash which would be this tin can and so what I did is I removed the top and bottom lid and then I made a little pattern with a piece of paper and this is super easy you just cut a piece of paper and wrap it around the can then I cut a front dip and I'm not sure why I left the paper here you don't really need to keep the paper on there but I squeezed the tin can a little bit to give it an oval shape and then with our pattern I drew the front dip then with some tin snippers I cut one side first if you're a righty I start this way if you're lefty the other way and then I went on the other side and I continued to cut the front dip the base I used a 4 by 6 flat canvas you can use cardboard if you want but I'm not gonna use this so I decided to recycle it this way so I cut it in half and to get our pattern started for the fabric, I used the original pattern for the tin can and I gave it a one inch seam allowance and I cut one piece of the upholstery and two pieces of the microfiber fabric. So I placed the two fabrics facing right sides together. And sew at the top. Once you're done with that, then fold it over and match up your seams. Now sew these edges together and the bottom part of the microfiber pack. Now it's time to put the baby right on our tin can. But before we do that, we're gonna put some tape on the edges just to make sure it's not sharp and we don't cut ourselves. Now we're ready to upholster our tin can. Look at how pretty it's turning out so far. Now to cover our base, we just need to cut a piece that's large enough to cover the whole thing. And I used Eileen's Tacky Glue, spread it with a brush. And I just use these little clips to keep everything nice and tight and secure. And for the final fold, I tucked in the edge and then I used some masking tape to keep it in place while the glue dried. Put some glue around the perimeter at the bottom of the tin can. Place it in the middle of our base. And we're done and here you have it isn't this beautiful I love how this looks you can embellish it this way all I did was put a whole bunch of thread at the bottom and then embellished it with the red rose just to give it a little more flair I think they both look amazing if you like this video please let me know don't forget to share and subscribe thank you bye